Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today we're going to keep going on our chart adventure um, and move on to kind of the next uh, level in charting. Um, what we did before was go through um, creating generic charts in NAV uh, based on either table or query. Um, but what, if you have gone through NAV like user profiles, you probably noticed that there are some charts there that are fairly nice and have sort of features and functionalities beyond the generic chart. Um, and what I've done is I created a role center and this is not, I've just took the accounting manager role center and I added all of the charts that are predefined or out of the box from NAV or from Microsoft into one role center. If you wanted to find all of these charts, you'd have to go between the role centers. Uh, for example, uh, the accounting manager does have cash flow forecast and um, finance performance. I think you need to go to the sales manager or sales order processor to get the trailing sales orders, sales performance, purchaser gets the purchase performance. And I think uh, the inventory performance is also uh, with the sales order manager or sales manager. Anyways, just move between to find them. Um, so what we created before was the customer balance by salesperson, which is down here. This is a generic chart um, and it's based on a query. But if you go in here, you can't click on uh, the column here and get, for example, all of the open balances. That would be really nice, but you cannot do that. And there's no way for, for you to even set that up in any way. Um, and so it's not really interactive. I cannot change any of these things here. I could change the uh, filter within the query to minimize this down, but it's not interactive at all. Um, so if it's showing you exactly what you need to see without clicking or anything like that, then it's great. If not, then, then you're missing something more. So what are the options to go beyond that? Uh, well, there are some predefined charts in NAV. And what I've done, like I said before, I moved all of them into this uh, role center. Those are basically about six. Uh, there might be more, but I think these are the main ones. And there are some, some differences between them. Uh, so I'm just going to go through them here. First one here is like the trailing sales order uh, chart. This shows the, uh, the sales orders that are open or uh, they're open pending approval pending prepayment or released and it shows them color coded by the status they're in now here i can change the period length for example to a month um, i can also see all orders or orders until today so it doesn't go into the future uh, or even orders that are delayed or something like that um, Nice things about this, I can actually click on it and I'd get the list of orders. That's kind of cool. Um, and so this is a little bit more interactive. However, there is no way for me to actually change this beyond the options that I have here. This is just it. This is trailing sales orders. That's all I get. Um, it's for that. It's, um, it's like a widget, doesn't do anything more. Okay, so if I go into the cash flow forecast, um, here I have chart options as well. I can change the start date, change the period length. I can group by various things and show it as accumulated or changed or combined. So if I actually go here into combined, I get it something like this. Um, I can edit things out of here. I can also click to get the details of what each one is. So it's a little bit interactive, but again, I cannot change this beyond what is showing me right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's sort of a fixed widget. And uh, adhering truly to the NAV spirit, we want to be able to change things. We like changing things. Uh, that's the whole idea behind a good system. 
um, always being able to say yes. <laughs> um, so if we go into the right hand side here, we actually see something called sales performance, purchase performance, inventory performance, and finance performance. So everything that ends with performance. These are really cool charts. Um, and why do I say that? I say it mostly because we can change them um, to a certain degree. So for example here, I can hit select chart and it brings up a list in an AV, which is uh, analysis report chart list. And if I hit edit on that, I actually get into an environment where I can set up columns, uh, measure names, and they are based on analysis. Um, and so this is this is really cool. And, and I'm not going to spend time in this video going in detail on this. I actually would like to create another video on that. Um, but but we give these charts thumb up, thumbs up because we can change them. And if I go into purchase performance, same thing there. I can actually change it with the analysis report. Uh, inventory performance has the same idea. And also finance performance. So these are, um, and this is actually based on account schedule. This is a little bit different. Uh, but again, we are working with something that we can change within the framework. So uh, next video, I'll probably talk about the sales, purchase, inventory, and finance performance charts and how we can set them up to our liking um, and then attach them to the role centers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.